can just reference that. Yeah. When, yeah, when Denise says. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandy McGuire, Howard Center CEO. And on behalf of the Howard Center board and leadership and our partners here today, thank you all so much for being with us today. We are so excited to be inviting you all to the launch of the Mental Health Urgent Care Program. As you can see, we are nearly ready for our opening um, in just a week, a week from today on October 28th. I want to give a warm welcome to clients and family members who are with us, representatives from our congressional offices, state and local community partners, Vermont legislators, media, supporters, and colleagues. I'm pleased to be joined by our program partners, Secretary Samuelson from the Vermont Agency of Human Services, Katie Bork from Pathways Vermont, Dr. Adam Greenlee from Community Health Centers, Dr. Steve Leffler, University of Mont Vermont Medical Center, and Christina Rice, who helped us start the conversation about the urgent care a few years ago. Collaboration in Vermont is what sets us apart from other communities. Our organizations have all come together, each contributing vital aspects in order to bring the mental health urgent care to Chittenden County. I'm so grateful for this incredible collaboration. And as we continue to recover from the pandemic, natural disasters, and other challenges and trauma all impacting mental health, and as we continue to educate and reduce stigma so that everyone feels okay about accessing mental health care just like they do physical health care. This is another huge step forward. It offers a welcoming place where people can find <laughs> the mental health urgent care offers a welcoming place where people can find immediate support in a therapeutic alternative to emergency department care. And while it won't solve every challenge facing our community today, I'm confident that we're making progress as we offer another option and choice for people to access compassionate quality care. I'd like to ask our new mental health urgent care staff to raise their hands. I believe they are with us today. Some of them are with us today. They have been in an intensive training program for the past month, and I'm so grateful for their enthusiasm about providing this care and these services to our community. I also want to thank the project team, many of whom are here today, for their work bringing this to fruition, for their countless hours and their tireless work considering every detail. And in particular, I'd like to acknowledge special thanks to our four project leads, Kathy Biscalia and Charlotte McCorkle of Howard Center, and Maureen Leahy and Karen Bastine from the U University of Vermont Medical Center. If the project team could raise your hands. <laughs> I also want to thank many others, including Senator Sanders and our congressional and legislative partners who have supported our efforts along the way. And lastly, I want to thank Bob Bick, who was Howard Center's CEO when this project began. Bob un understood the need and the urgency and was continually asking us, can it open next week? And finally, we can say, yes, Bob, the mental health urgent care will open next week. <laughs> Immediately following our remarks and the ribbon cutting, there will be tours. Um, and you are welcome to please join us for refreshments. The tour guides will each have a tour sign so you can see where to go. And on the first tour, Margaret, one of our ASL interpreters, there's some samples of the tour signs. Um, Margaret will be on the first tour. So if you need ASL services, please try to join that first tour. And again, we're just really thrilled to be launching our mental health urgent care. And I'm confident that we are on the right path to help people access care when they need it most in keeping with the mission of the Howard Center to help people and communities thrive and to ensure help is here. Thank you all for being here today. And I will turn it over to Secretary Samuelson. I can't understate how much of a privilege it is to be here today for the celebration and opening of the Mental Health Urgent Care. If there's one lesson that we learned during the pandemic is that it reminded us that it's essential interconnection between mental health, substance use, long-term care, and hospital services. 
Now, two and a half years later, you know, I remember Allison and I were thinking about this on our way up when mental health urgent cares were just a word on a board. Now, two and a half years later, I'm immensely proud of the strides we've made in viewing our mental health care system as a, as a clear and seamless continuum of care. Throughout this journey, we have emphasized the importance of ensuring that individuals who need mental health services have not just the resources, but also the compassionate support they need. A person to call through 988, someone to respond through statewide mobile crisis, and now a safe place to go when they are in distress. In the absence of these vital services, many have gone to our emergency departments for help. This is not only complicates access to the necessary medical care for those in crisis, but it also poses significant challenges for Vermonters facing mental health emergencies. Emergency rooms can be overwhelming. They're loud, unpredictable, and lacking privacy that is crucial for effective mental health treatment. Mental health urgent cares, the place to go and the solution that we've been looking for, is I'm so excited to see us opening that here in Chittenden County. It is through a dedicated space where we can provide the care that people need when they need it and where they need it is really becoming a reality. Today, we will celebrate the remarkable collaboration between the organizations that made this possible, Pathways, the University of Vermont Medical Center and Health Network, Howard Center, and the community health centers, all who should be commended for their efforts to come together in true partnership to fill this critical need. This partnership embodies the resilience and can-do spirit of Vermonters. Together, we have created a first-of-its-kind integrated model that places individuals with lived experience at the heart and ensures accessibility for everyone, regardless of their insurance. To all the organizations involved, thank you for your unwavering commitment and collaboration. You have transformed an idea into a tangible solution effectively filling a crucial gap in the services in Chittenden County. Together, we are making a meaningful difference in many Vermonters' lives, so thank you. My name is Christina Rice, and I want to speak on behalf of the family members and friends of someone who is struggling with a mental health crisis. As a family member or friend, you want to help someone in need, but you don't want to overstep their boundaries or theirs. You also don't want to take that person to a place you know is going to make things worse, especially in the short term. Nobody wants to go to the emergency room with its ambulance, sirens, bright lights, babies crying, and people in pain and distress. It's not a calming and therapeutic environment. It's the last place you want to go in the midst of a mental health crisis. Before this project, there was nowhere else to go. There was nowhere to take someone when you could no longer handle the situation at home. My own experiences growing up in a family of nine in Essex was one of the inspirations for this project. My mother was a gifted artist who suffered from manic depression. Now we call it bipolar disorder. She had several psychiatric hospitalizations, including a long one at the Waterbury State Hospital. These hospitalizations were traumatic for her and for our entire family. My mother was very open about her condition. She knew it deserved the same compassionate and skilled treatment as any other medical problem, but she hated going to the emergency room. Just the thought of going there triggered a major escalation in her symptoms. Fortunately for my mother, her psychiatrist, Dr. Robert Paratini, started a clinic like this one called the Crisis Center. People could go there and get treatment by staff specialized in mental health. It was often enough to turn things around for my mother. It allowed her to avoid a lengthy hospitalization. Our whole family benefited. On behalf of the families and friends, I congratulate UBM Medical Center, the Howard Center, the Vermont Department of Health and Pathways for this wonderful collaboration. You have returned a much needed resource to the community one that will offer hope to a vulnerable population, one that provides a place to go that will make things better, both in the short term and the long term. Thank you for this important step forward in mental health.
there's a long list of people that we could thank and that should be thanked for this. Um, from the community health centers, I first want to thank our community partners um, that we have been in collaboration with throughout this uh, entire planning process. And from within our own organization, I want to say a special thanks to Joanne Wallace, who's been uh, carrying the torch for this internally for us, and to Dr. Heather Stein, who's in my position when these conversations started and has kept community health centers as part of this uh, great collaboration um, up until this point. In, since I've been in the role that I'm in and part of these conversations, I think one of the things that has been um, very invigorating is recognizing that everyone has come together around planning and thinking about what could be and not necessarily what should be. And it's allowed this group to be very creative. It's allowed us to have many iterations of plans since I've been in this, uh, in this process and many more before me. Um, and I think it has created an environment that allows us all to see that this isn't the solution, this is a solution. We're going to continue to have iterations of this moving forward, and we're going to continue to learn um, as we move forward with this process. And what I think is the most uh, exciting about this collaboration with all of these partners is that it is all of these partners. It's allowing all of us to work synergistically, not have a community health center's lane of care, a UVMMC lane of care, and a Howard Center lane of care, but allowing us to all share that and see what we can provide within the community to help create an ecosystem of care that is not within one organization, but amongst all of us. The community health center's role in that is recognizing that there is no mental health and physical health, and it is one health. And our role here is to help prevent the medical complications that come up in untreated primary care conditions from being a barrier to accessing the mental health care that is much needed um, by many that are seeking care. Um, and so that this can be a better place to seek care for the person that doesn't need the emergency room, but might need some medical assessment. And we'll continue to evolve what that looks like um, to meet the needs of this space so that we can continue to make this the most impactful that we can with our partners in continued collaboration. We look forward to it. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Bork. Um, I'm with Pathways Vermont and Pathways Vermont will be providing the peer support services at the mental health urgent care. Peer support work is a transformative practice that har harnesses the power of shared experiences to foster connection, healing, and growth. In this supportive space, individuals come together as equals, offering empathy and understanding born from personal journeys. By listening without judgment and sharing their own stories, peer supporters create a safe environment where hope can flourish. This collaborative approach empowers individuals to overcome challenges and cultivates resilience and self-discovery. Through compassion and community, peer support ignites the belief that recovery and growth are possible, reminding everyone that they are not alone. Pathways Vermont is proud and excited to bring peer support to this project. On behalf of Pathways Vermont, I want to thank everyone who has worked to make this mental health urgent care a reality. Seeing each organization bring its unique strengths and capacity to support the community and provide access to this needed resource is hopeful and inspiring. We appreciate the Howard Center and UVM Health Network's leadership and are happy to work with them in the Community Health Center to make the mental health urgent care possible. All right, so I have to tell you that when I walked in today and saw this bright, beautiful space. I couldn't believe how amazing it was. And it brought me back to, I think it was about three years ago. And this is what I really love about Vermont. It's why I love living in Vermont. It's why I feel lucky to have my career in Vermont and why I'm happy I raised my family here. An interested Vermonter called some leaders that are in this room, some of them retired, um, and said, hey, mental health care and ED is just not great. We need something else. And in the Vermont tradition, all the leaders said, we agree with you, but we all have big problems right now. We, you know, the pandemic, we have staffing crisis, we have budget problems, there's stigma related to this issue, but let's come together and see what we can do. And so we came and there was a thousand reasons not to do this. Every organization alone had big reasons why this was a bad idea, the right thing to do, but maybe could you do it? Could Howard do it? Could Community Health Center Brewing do it? Medical center, you guys are big, could you do it? None of us could do it alone. We said, we're not alone in this, but we all came together, kept working. We have great state partners, great city partners who helped with the pieces. We know each other in other venues. And so there were some big issues, like we didn't have a spot for a long time. We didn't exactly know how the funding was all gonna work. 
but all those were overcome. I've been an ER doctor for 31 years. I love being an ER doctor. But when you see someone in mental health crisis and you realize that you're not really the right person to help them, you're not in the right room, you don't have the right services for them, you don't really have the things to make them better, that's a hopeless feeling. I can't even imagine what it feels like for the family. So for Vermont now to have one more great new option that'll be better for so many people, that'll keep them out of the ER when it's appropriate, is a really big deal. In healthcare, like I said, I've been in healthcare for a really long time. We talk about all the time about triple aim. We're gonna improve quality, improve access, decrease cost. Really hard to do. The number of things in my career that actually have hit those three has been really small, I have to say. This one actually can do it. This is gonna be cheaper for patients who don't have to wait in the ER for a week. This is gonna be cheaper for people who can be seen a couple days before their crisis is so bad they have to go to the ER. They're gonna be able to go back to their home most likely and get the treatment they need. So this is amazing. I'm really proud of the partners that we worked with. I'm proud of the teams behind the leaders who did actually all the hard work. Look at you guys. So thank you so much. Um, this is a great day for Vermonters and for people who need this help. Thank you.
I'm going to do um, wound care to make sure that the old before coming, they're going to do urinalysis here. They're not doing blood draws here, but just making sure that people's medical needs are attuned to before they go and pursue other support and treatment. Um, we will be here. Yeah, I'm our director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, and you are Joan, and you are so great. Hello, good to meet you. I'm your short person translator. And there are some folks that are so Station, so um, we can offer people tea, coffee, snacks. Um, part of what the care managers and myself will be doing is if um, someone's struggling with food insecurity, we will be looking at how to immediately connect them with food. One of the things that we may do as staff members is actually drive someone to a food cafe if they have no food. Um, so that's why Howard Center has done all our car insurance to make sure we're safe cars. Because you know we may be transporting, but uh, so we can at least get people snacks, get them hydrated, tea or coffee. Just you know we want to humanize this experience as much as possible. And then feel like you know you've come home, you're safe. Uh, there's a team of people here who are going to care for you and really help you. Sorry, I didn't. So, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, there's uh, 11 or 12 of us that have been in training together for um, four weeks now. And so, you know, I'm 60. I've had a few years behind me in my career, and I never in my life have I ever been able to start with a brand new team in a brand new building with a brand new program. I'm really glad that I'm having that opportunity and the quality of, the, of my college. It's just, it's really great, and uh, I just can't wait. I can't wait for Monday morning. And no matter what happens, we're just going to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Great attitude. Yeah, so this is the peace room. It will look more peaceful later. Yes, I promise. We um, promise. There is also, in addition to some of the things that Andrea has named, there will be some other offerings for, for guests as well, particularly some harm reduction offerings. So there will be gun locks. Yep. Um, there will also be lock boxes and a number of other things that we um, work with the Department of Mental Health to help us provide as well. Yeah, so we've all been CPR for uh, CPR first aid training, Narcan training, all of those things here. Yes, and in terms of the navigators, if someone comes in and, and you know we're on sealed state, right? If it's obvious that someone has a weapon, then the navigator and maybe one of the other staff members will say, "Let's go for a walk." It appears, you know. Yeah, and we'll give them a um, lock for that. And because uh, those are well, you know, this is waits to me. You know, we, <laughs> we see, I think at one time they are anticipating maybe up to about eight, about eight, eight to twelve receiving active service. Oh, you mean at any one time during the day? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, eight to twelve at a time, um, and then of course there's waiting for receiving active services about eight yeah. 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 Sorry, I've been in Sakaya, but what's this room? It's going to be like a console room. This is the police room. This is just, uh, this is <laughs> this is a room for, maybe you're waiting to see a clinician, maybe okay. you just are so stressed and you need a moment for away from everybody else, you can come in here. Emotional and regulation it's just like room? Emotional regulation room is the way I put it, yeah. Okay. Or people might just be hanging out who have arrived here at the same 
same time, they might be supporting one another, talking about how well, how'd you get here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, some of our other concert rooms have like a like, classic table and chairs. So this is an alternative to that. Yeah. Okay. If a clinician is wanting to meet yes. with uh, a guest, right, in a less formal setting, this room will be set up with a rug and some more comfortable furniture as well to kind of foster that. Yeah, I think that's what I'd add to that is every single thing we do, everything from the architects and design this place to what we're doing with each guest at every moment is trauma informed. So we were aware that maybe some of those more classic looking consultation rooms, somebody might be more comfortable here, just sort of depending on what their experience is. So you have your like capacity of eight, uh, like the rest of, like if you have more folks coming in, they're waiting in that big open area or the peer support room, is that kind of the, yeah. the well, idea? Yeah. Yeah. And then some people may just arrive to us for peer support. Hi, and just hi. Want to be here. So, I mean, this is really like. And then I was like, I know. 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 And then I there will be a future microwave there where people can um, uh, heat up their lunch, but this is our, God only knows how many carries we're going to go through, right? Because I don't know how many people are going to be drinking all their coffee here. It's a water station. Um, there will be more snacks, but there's all kinds of snacks. Um, more to come. So this will be where somebody can come in and get an enlargement. There's a couple of uh, restaurants. That's what Kathy's dealing with. You know, with her dad. You know, she doesn't want to have any regrets. <laughs> Actually, just adults. So, eighteen and all. I don't know if I can be able to the child with the kids and then they would try to like get out of my Like, you know, you're, you have a feel of the milieu from your office. For some of our different teams. So this hub right here for across there and then we'll also see a break room for the staff because that is needed. Um, that is the question I keep getting. I don't know who was in here. It was the offices. Okay. But I don't know what service. There's admin, admin office. There's admin. Okay. I love that. Right over the administrator. Well, one was here and her office is right over there. <laughs> So there's uh, 
Hi, I'm Charlotte McCorkle. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and the senior director of client services at Howard Center. I'm one of the project leads for the Mental Health Urgent Care Project. Mental Health Urgent Care is a new programming program opening in our community on October 28th, one week from today. And Mental Health Urgent Care will be a place for people to go if they're experiencing any sort of crisis or distress or needing immediate support, very broadly defined. So someone can come to the, our new beautiful space at 1 South Prospect Street in Burlington. We'll be open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and we're serving anyone who's needing support who's over 18. It is a kid-friendly um, space, so if someone's in crisis and comes in with their kids or family, that's absolutely welcome. We can support anyone who's coming in. And we'll primarily be supporting individuals, but again, can offer support to a whole family um, as well. Our services are voluntary, and we'll be offering crisis assessment, case management, peer support, and medical assessment and medical care. So are you confident that this is going to be a long-term project? We have funding for three years. We're very excited to have secure funding for three years. And once the program opens, then we can shift our efforts to thinking about our long-term sustainability plan so that we can be open well beyond that. So who are your allies and your partners in this enterprise? That's a great question. So Howard Center is operating this program in partnership with University of Vermont Medical Center, Pathways Vermont, and Community Health Centers. And we have funding from University of Vermont Medical Center and the Department of Mental Health with some congressionally directed dollars from Senator Sanders' office as well. My name is Tyler Ivone. Um, I work for the uh, UVM Medical Center's Employee and Family Assistance Program. Uh, we're located right here at UHC, right around the corner from the new um, openly uh, um, renovated uh, urgent care center for um, mental health. Um, so I think this is extremely beneficial, especially uh, where the setting that it's put into. Um, I feel like Burlington over the even the last few years has definitely taken a noticeable toll on addiction, homelessness, and just mental health overall. So having the, um, the resources as um, a mental health urgent care is going to be really beneficial to to everyone um, in the community. So I'm I'm really excited to to see how this you know helps uh, Vermont Vermonters and also uh, you know even the UVM employees can find it beneficial as well. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like moving forward. Hi, I'm Kathy Buscalia, Director of Innovation and Special Projects at Howard Center, and I've been one of the project co-leads on the Mental Health Urgent Care. We're really excited to be opening the center on next Monday, October 28th, and we're excited to be welcoming guests from the Burlington area and beyond as an alternative to the emergency department for mental health services here at the Mental Health Urgent Care. This project is a collaboration between Howard Center, Pathways Vermont, and the Community Health Center. And we will be offering crisis services through assessments with crisis clinicians. Well, thank you. I'm Senator Jenny Lyons, representing the Chittenden Southeast and uh, Chair of Health and Welfare in the Senate. For many years, we've been talking about the wait times and the emergency department and the real problems that folks with mental health have uh, and where do they go to get the support that they need when they're in crisis. We've talked for um, we talked about having some kind of support services in the community and the medical center and the Howard Center have come forward with just this wonderful opportunity for our com for our towns for our community for patients so I'm thrilled to see this come to fruition. It will, it will most definitely reduce wait times in, uh, for folks in the ED to get support, especially when we think about kids who are in crisis and having someone to lean on uh, and get help. The other thing that's important to know if from the legislative perspective is that we did work hard on peer support and now we're looking at certification for peer support folks so that now we'll have people who have been through crisis themselves uh, understand mental health needs 
and be able to work with people who are in the clinic, in addition to the professional counselors who are here. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, we do have other steps to take. We need to look at what do we need in our community further for placement for people, for support for people going forward. But right now, I think we need to celebrate uh, the, this mental health crisis clinic. It's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, finally, I will say it's significant that the Green Mountain Care Board and really with the legislative legislators providing support uh, allowed for the revenue that was available to be used to build this really important um, clinic. So, thanks for chatting with me, or, and I, I'm so so pleased with this um, part of our community. My name is Sandy Steingard. I've been a psychiatrist in community mental health in Vermont for about 30 years. I think this is a wonderful new program. Really pleased with uh, groups of people that are working together to provide this level of mental health, and I wish them the best. My role, well, I was the chief medical officer at Howard for many years, uh, but I retired and I now work um, as a staff psychiatrist for them. I'm not directly involved with this program, just uh, a booster and uh, glad that this program is going to exist for the community. This is Bob Bick. I'll let him introduce himself. Whenever I get a microphone, I'm tempted to sing, but I'll pass that opportunity up today. Um, I, am, <laughs> I am really pleased to see that Howard Center, the Medical Center, Community Health Center and Pathways have come together to create what has long been needed as a place for individuals who are experiencing mental health crisis to come and feel welcome and engaged and embraced. And this program has the opportunity to improve the quality of life for our entire community. So congratulations to everyone, including those of us who live in the community.